This is Mike Gidding from Third Eye Geoscience. Today I'm making a video for me because I always forget how to create lithology columns. So I'm just going to walk through the process and hopefully it'll be of help to other people as well. So we start off with a set of curves that will help us discriminate the lithologies. I've got gamma ray density and sonic here and I'm going to choose from the stratigraphy ribbon new discrete log. And I'll go down here and I'll choose lithology log. You could choose facies as well. And hit OK. And over here in the global well logs, we've now got a new lithology log one. And we've created a new column in our well section. Let's make it a little bit wider. And you can see that the lithology that we've got by default here is sandstone. So let's go and paint some sandstones. You see we've got a little paintbrush here, we can go down and swoop that in there and it's come up with the wrong lithology. So that's fine. So all we do is we right click and we choose sandstone and we paint over the top. Okay, and we can then right click and making sure we're on sandstone, we can go down and paint another bit of sandstone, maybe another bit in here. And then we can change to something else. Let's go and paint some of these coals in. You can see the coals because they've got the very, very low sonic and density. Paint a couple of those in. And then we might paint a shale as well. So choose claystone in here. Paint a little bit in there. Paint a little bit down here. Of course, we can zoom in to help us, and so on. So I've got one of those that I've prepared that's got a few more entries in it, so let's turn that one on as well. And make that again a bit wider. And we'll turn off the one that I used as an example. Okay, and if we zoom back out, you can see I've done a little bit more work here. So that's all well and good, but nobody wants to go and paint every single meter of the section. So we're going to use the neural net function, and that will predict what's happening based on what we've already got selected. So if we choose neural net and choose a new neural net model, and let's just call it litho, and we'll go down and we'll turn on the Choo Choo One Well in here that we're using as our input. Keep it on classification and go to the logs and choose the gamma ray, sonic and density as our inputs. And then under settings, we can supervise that with our existing lithology input. Okay, which is this column here. And all we need to do now is make sure that our output says create new and then hit OK. And off it goes and creates a new global well log called lithology input neural net litho. And it's created a neural net down here. So let's turn that on. And you'll see that we've got a pretty good fill in there. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to give that information to an adjacent well. So we go logs from neural net, create a new log, and then we're going to give it the estimation model, which is the neural net. And it's going to use those logs. And now we can specify which wells we want to transfer it to. So choo choo one and choo choo two. You'll notice some of these are grayed out. That's because they don't have a gamma ray underscore m and a density underscore m. But you'll notice what another well does. We won't bother with using that because it's not displayed. And now we can just hit OK. And we've got a third column in now. So let's turn that on. And so for both of our wells now, we've got a lithology column. Let's turn the others off. And so what can we do with that? Well, we can do nice things like if we go into the well template and we choose 
to turn all of this stuff off. And then we go into our gamma ray track, go to the curve filling, choose our color fill, which at the moment is just colored by the gamma ray. And instead we choose that property. Hit OK. We should get a nice gamma ray with lithology fill. That's really all I wanted to show, and it's a it's a pretty easy process, but I don't do it very often, and so I always tend to forget. So hopefully that's useful. It's a little bit off the, the track from my normal seismic interpretation videos, but hopefully it's helpful to some of you. Any inquiries, just get in touch via my website, 3ig.com.au. Thanks a lot.